In the grand tapestry of existence, we often find ourselves pondering the eternal questions. Why are we here? What is our purpose? The Bible offers us guidance, saying in Ephesians chapter to verse 10, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works. As we gaze upon the heavens, the vastness of creation, we are reminded of our place in this universe. Are we not but a speck amidst the galaxies? Yet, to our Creator, every one of us is a beloved treasure, unique and irreplaceable. In the hustle of our daily routines, in the silence of our solitude, we seek meaning. We yearn for connection, for a sign that our lives are part of a greater plan. At the crossroads of life, with faith as our compass, how do we choose the path that leads us closer to our divine calling? Matthew in 13 verse 31 to 32 Like the mustard seed, the smallest of all seeds, we to have the potential to grow beyond our imagining. What then shall we become? How shall we use the gifts bestowed upon us to fulfill our destiny? Is it not in the giving that we receive, in the serving that we are served, the measure of a life well lived is found not in wealth or accolades, but in the love we share, the hope we inspire, the comfort we provide. In moments of doubt, when the weight of the world bears down upon us, Psalm chapter 121 verse 1 says, Lift up my eyes to the hills where does my help come from. Together, let us embark on this journey of discovery, hand in hand, heart to heart. For it is in unity that we uncover the answers to our deepest questions. So let us walk this path with courage, with faith, with love. Let us seek let us serve, let us soar. For in contemplation and in action, we draw ever closer to the heart of the divine. Be curious, be compassionate, be transformed. In the quiet of your heart, have you felt the stirring? A gentle breeze, a sacred presence, the Holy Spirit calling. But what does it mean to receive the Holy Spirit? Is it a moment of divine encounter? or a lifelong journey, a transformation, consider the apostles, their lives radically changed. They spoke in tongues, yes, but more so they lived with unshakable courage. Can we, too, embrace such boldness in our faith? The Holy Spirit is often depicted as a flame, not one that consumes, but one that purifies, enlightens, warms. How then shall we become beacons of this holy fire in our world today? Let us open our hearts. Let us seek the gifts of the Spirit in Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 to 23. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Dwell on these fruits. Let them grow within you. For in embracing the Spirit, we find our true calling, our divine purpose. Be reflective, be receptive, be renewed. Now is the moment, the crossroads of decision. Will you answer the call? The Holy Spirit beckons, a divine invitation to step into a life of greater purpose, of deeper meaning. Do not let this moment pass. Embrace the gifts you've been given, the love that's been poured into your heart. Share it, spread it, live it. Join us, become a part of something bigger than yourself. Connect with a community of faith that believes in action, in love, in transformation. Take the step, make the choice, be the change. So like, share, and subscribe for more and comment below and say, Holy Spirit, come on to me. Amen.